Let's get you started with setting up your new Exclaim wireless access points. Once you've got them connected to the network and downloaded the app for either iOS or Android, you can connect to the Exclaim setup SSID that's being broadcast from each access point. It's just there temporarily to help you get configured, and once you push your first SSID, it will go away. Let's simply launch the Harmony app, and once you do this, you'll be prompted through a very short tutorial on getting you started. The first thing you're going to come to is going to be a country code selection. And if you're in the U.S., it's automatically going to default to this for you and push you on to the next step, which is that of your admin password. Create an at least eight character unique password with one uppercase and special character. This is to get you into the app as well as pushing configurations to your access points. You can do a secured or open SSID. We're going to do open for this one here and call it exclaim. And these are the only pieces of information that are actually required to get you initially configured. Go ahead and click on finish once you're at the congratulations screen and you'll be prompted to search for your access points. Go ahead and click on the search for access points button and this is going to do a network wide discovery and try to locate each one of your exclaim wireless access points. Once you see some start coming back, this means it has discovered them and made them available for configuration. You can see here it's discovered too, and it's showing me configure AP, which tells me it's not set up, an IP address, and the last four characters of the MAC address so you can easily recognize it. If you need to add a new one or discover for another one, you simply click on the search button again and we'll go through the same discovery process. We can now configure our discovered APs by simply tapping on the icon of each one that's discovered to take you into the edit settings. From here, I can give it a name. I'm going to call this one X1. You can give it a location as well. You see as you scroll down, the IP address, subnet, and gateway have been filled in through DHCP. If I want to make a manual channel selection, I simply select the appropriate radio and to take me into those options. If I select it and save it, it's going to apply those manual settings. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see that Exclaim SSID we created during the tutorial is here and available. I can simply click on it here. It's going to give me a notification saying, hey, once you apply this to your access point, the Exclaim Setup SSID is going to go away. So go ahead and click OK. Click Save. It's going to provision and send this configuration directly to that access point that you had selected. From here, you can see you get a notification that the Exclaim Setup SSID for that particular one, which we named X1, has been taken down. The process for adding an additional APs is just the same. Click on the AP, name it location, set an SSID to it, and you're done. You have to configure each one of these individually for the first time, and then you can simply apply WLANs directly to access points, or you can even apply access points to WLANs. If you click on the WLAN section, you'll see your tutorial SSID. You can click on it to get into the details, and up at the top right, you can click on Edit. From here, you can see the name, the VLAN, encryption, and client isolation, as well as the option to add an access point directly to this WLAN. Click on it, you're going to get the same prompt warning you about your setup SSID. You can save it, which will push this configuration out. You'll also get a notification that you might have to reestablish connection in case you were connected to that SSID. Now that I've got two of my three access points configured and ready to go, I can actually get into statistics now and take a look at the stats dashboard. Click on that back arrow to take you into it. This screen is going to refresh automatically, so you don't have to do anything else. It's going to show you who's connected, bytes transmitted, packets transmitted, as well as real-time information on a per-client basis. 